Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. You're listening to The Low Blow on SWFight.com. Juan Hernandez with The Low Blow and Southwest Fight News here with Emily Peters-Kagan. How are you? I'm doing pretty great. Yeah. Media day. How, how do you like it so far? <laughs> it's all right. Not too bad. It's a good excuse to come back into the gym and get another little sweat on. Yeah. Usually it's probably a lot of the guys that are getting most of the attention in here. How does it feel that it's all the females? I was actually just saying it's so amazing, you know, to have all this, like, estrogen in the gym. It's so great. There's just such an amazing talent pool here among the women, so it's pretty spectacular. Now, among women, this camp is probably one of the most elite in, in the world. What's it like day in, day out to train with some of the best? It's just absolutely awesome. Um, we, you know, we push each other to the limits and we support each other through some tough times and we give each other lots of advice based on our varied experiences, um, whether, you know, inside uh, inside the cage or out. So it's, it's pretty special. July 13th, you'll be making your second appearance with Invicta mm -hmm. against Ashley Cummins. Do you know how much, do you know, do you know much about her? Um, well, I've seen a few of her fights, and um, I, I know that she's got a passion and, and aggressiveness about her, which I really look forward to, because that means that um, we'll have a pretty exciting fight. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. And this fight is actually now uh, being streamed, just not just online on pay-per-view, but also mm -hmm. available for you know, Comcast and DirecTV customers. What's that like to be exposed to a broader audience that way? Um, I think it's just amazing. I'm just really, honestly, I'm very excited for uh, women in the sport. Uh, I think this is just monumental for not just myself um, and my own professional career, but as well uh, as for all the women uh, today and in the future who are pursuing MMA. Now, your last, last time out, you actually had a fight against uh, Rosa Namajunas. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you came up short. What did you learn in that contest? Uh, <laughs> gotta stay mentally, you know, it, for me, it was, there was a bit of mental peace going on when, when I lost it in the end. Um, so I spent some time reflecting on what exactly was going through my mind at that time and um, how I can make sure that that doesn't happen again. But. Now, where are you originally from? Um, I'm originally from Bangor, Maine, actually. Mm. How did you end up in MMA? Um, I've always really loved mixed martial arts. Um, when I was just a child, I grew up with boys, and we were really fascinated with martial arts movies and mar anything related to martial arts. Um, and so when I was 18, I started out in traditional Japanese jiu-jitsu. Um, I completed four years of that with my black belt and then moved overseas where I trained in a variety of different disciplines. Um, and I did that for three years, still without considering um, uh, a fight career and then in 2006 when I moved back to the United States I joined Team Irish MMA with Marcus Davis uh, who's a UFC veteran um, and I stayed with him for a few years before uh, making the big move out here to New Mexico. How long have you been here now? Um, as of December 15th, 2013, it will have been four solid years. And you're living here full time? Yes. What's, how's the city treated you? Um, you know, I have to say, New Mexico is very rough and different, especially coming from the Northeast. But I have had developed such an amazing community, um, a support system, um, just in, not just in my personal life, but even in my professional fighting career. Um, I have a lot of part-time employers and clients who support me all the way through my fighting pursuits and my schedule needs, um, and a bunch of uh, people in the medical industry too, helping me out, chiropractors, massage therapists, doctors. I mean, I've been truly blessed, so I really have no complaints about my life. Here. That's it's amazing. Like July 13th in Victor 6 against Ashley Cummins, uh, Twitter. Uh, it's uh, Emily P. Kagan. All right, make sure you guys follow her. Thank you very much awesome. and best of luck. Thank you.